This is the inside tour for the 2007 Heartland Sundance 3200 BHS. And so you can see quite a bit of living space here as you enter. We have, um, first of all, we'll start off with the kitchen area. We have a uh, dual sink with the covers. Plenty of storage up above. Coffee maker and a toaster and plenty of room. Uh, we have a Magic Chef microwave oven. And a uh, Jensen overhead with a three burner stove top and a Magic Chef oven as well. We lightly used all of this stuff. Uh, we've got the Dometic um, dual fuel uh, electric slash LP freezer and refrigerator. And there are racks that go on here. We've got a little uh, prep area or serving area right here that's foldable that folds down uh, as well. So. And um, then over here to the uh, dining area, this does fold out into a small bed. Um, we have not used that, uh, but there is storage state space underneath here for pots and pans or whatever you'd like. It's here. Seating for four there at that table, tight. And then we got lots of pantry space up here. And that's covered up by the slide out once the slide out goes in. And then we also have upper storage here as well. For, excuse me, six of these total. Plenty of space on this camper. I love that. And these all have the same thing. And then here we have uh, a uh, sleeper sofa. It's very comfortable. Um, the bed does pull out. We have not used that, um, but maybe once. And... Um, not the most comfortable bed in the world, but actually this couch is comfortable. Uh, we did have a full-size TV here, but we removed that. We don't really watch TV when we go camping. Uh, there is a DVD player and right, that's included, of course. But we just like to use that space there for, for holding things. Um, same thing down here. We've got storage space below and above that area. And uh, let's see... Um, this area over here for like a little hanging hanging your coats your raincoats it's also the control center up here for the um unit we've got again you can see the batteries fall here and holding tanks and everything are all empty the pump on off switch here does work nicely and also the lp heating switch here works nicely um, we also have electric heat for the water heater which is nice when you're plugged in <clears throat> More storage up above. And that's the main living area. Let's go back to the bunkhouse. Okay, there are actually sleep four back here. And um, quite honestly, this, uh, I've slept up here before. It's very nice, uh, works fine. Same thing down there, there's a second one. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. And then two here. I think these are just a little bit smaller than these others two. So probably not ideal for an adult here and, and down here, but maybe a teenager uh, and younger. This uh, section right here does fold up and then there's a door access that goes out here. I will show you that in a moment. That's really nice because a lot of the times we would fold this up when going down the road and you can put bicycles in this space, um, all kinds of storage for while you're going down the road on this. And then uh, as we head back through to the upper level, this is the uh, where the bathroom and the uh, queen size bed is. It's very private, it can, be, it can be closed off with this sliding door here. So you can close that area off. When the kids are up goofing, off, goofing around or playing games, you can close that off if you wanna go to bed, but we don't use that one very much. And so what we have here is we have a, um, full-size shower, stand-up shower, works well. And over here is a full-size porcelain toilet. Um, and uh, um, that works great. So we have 
lots of storage in this unit. That's one thing we, oh, by the way, a little, little sink here with some storage below and below and above. Okay, queen size walk around bed. Very nice. Uh, we have a lucid 10 inch foam mattress on this one. And it does fold up to give us more storage underneath if you should need it. Plenty of room over here for storing your clothes. Upper, there's an upper and a lower. And there are six uh, drawers here for for your, uh, whatever you want to put in there, underwear. Or... There was a TV spot up here. We can use that for storage. Um, with an electrical outlet, it's very nice. And then also more storage here for your clothing and shoes, etc. So you could live in this thing for quite some time. I will note that even when we received this uh, camper, this glass was broken. So that is one thing to disclose there. Um, up above here, I put we have this block out thing to keep the sun from coming in when you're trying to sleep. It's very nice. And let's see, and then two little side windows over here and over here uh, in the slide out. There also is a divider here for privacy. When someone's going to the bathroom, you can close this uh, Venetian, I don't know what you call this, this little slider that slides all the way across and connects over here by the beds to make this a separate bathroom area if you desire. So that's a tour of the inside of the Heartland 3200 BHS. It's for sale.